All right. Good morning. And uh, the question is very important, or I must say, it's very in nowadays, especially for ACCA SBL students. So, what is commercial acumen? What is commercial acumen? And a uh, few students they have some misunderstanding like this. They think that it's a part of course outline, like there's a particular topic or a chapter in which we gonna study this commercial acumen. My friend, my friend, my friend. It's not a part of any course outline or any topic, any chapter. It's commercial acumen is a skill. Just like uh, one of the one of the skill is communication skill. Although students talk about this commercial acumen. Now, what is commercial acumen? How to develop commercial acumen? Commercial acumen simple is how good you understand the business. Your common, not a common sense, a common business sense. How good you understand the business. How good you understand the industry, the supply chain. Your speed in understanding the business, business decision. Your alertness, your keenness in understanding business. Simple, huh? How a company makes a good money. That's it. How your business help, how how your decision helps the company in getting good numbers. That's simple. And you know that is correct. That uh, if you don't know where you're going, if you don't know where you're going, any road can get you there. That's simple. And it's not only about ACC SBL. If you look at the practical environment, let's talk about the auditors. Even the auditors to analyze the business, they must have good commercial acumen. Or sometime the employees are rejected, especially in the interview, especially when you hire, when they are hiring the C position, the chairman, CEO, CFO, and let's say the business manager. Sometime they are rejected interview with this statement: they, "We can't hire this employee because it lacks commercial acumen. It lacks commercial acumen." So. It is so important commercial acumen. This is a skill that, especially when you talk about this ACC SBL, it's a very professional paper. How can an examiner gives you good mark or especially the professional particular marks without having a good business sense? Now the question: uh, How to develop commercial acumen? See, it's not a part of course outline. There is no particular chapter. Now, how you develop it? So, see, you have to update yourself with the latest, especially the changing dynamics, especially the the overall industries, the industry, the changing dynamics, and uh, you talk to your mentor. You talk to those people who talk about this business and latest changes. Watch such videos, and uh, if you can sur- uh, subscribe those uh, magazine, let's say the Harvard Business Review or Economist or the other different stuff. At least you like the page on social media of those magazines. Okay, they give you some you know good tips about the commercial acumen, especially about the latest things, and uh, you work on your thought process. As I said, industry awareness plus a common business sense. That's simple. Give you an example. Let's say in examination, uh, you are the business manager, you're business consultant. They talk about uh, a huge industry, a fast food industry, fast food industry, and uh, you are giving advice to establish a sales department, a call center, hiring more people. Give them more training, invest millions of dollar, whether in-house, outsource, or offshoring, whatever, and you forget one thing. Although you talk about customer satisfaction, convenience, everything is fine, but you forget one thing: that customers they don't want to order by picking up the phone, and that they can't like they can't wait 10-15 minutes for order. They don't want human interaction nowadays. What they want is third-party apps. They want apps, just a click, and they get the burger or pizza. That's simple. So you investing amount on the training of sales staff or call center, establishing new things. How about we have a one one single app which works? That's simple, right? That's the commercial acumen. So in case if you advise the first thing, you'll get no marks because once again that you putting impression the examiner that you getting you have no commercial acumen. Same case with like you see drone delivery. You see Uber, Airbnb. Look at the dynamics. Look at the changes. Um, give you one more example. Uh, let's say every other car you see electric cars, and you're talking about gas stations. So how about one of the students say, "Okay, I'll con- I'll 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 put more money in uh, not in the gas station but in the charging station." That's again against the commercial acumen. That's not commercial acumen. Why? Because 